Hey everyone, Matt here. So this is part two to our making our first mead video. And what happened since last video was we finished our Steger nutrient additions. We degassed it twice a day uh, for the first seven days. Then we kept swirling it once a day, swirling the carboy to keep the uh, yeast up in suspension or what, what they what they call the rousing the lees to keep it up in contact with the must so it can keep working. Um, and then it came to about the about three weeks and I noticed that the specific gravity stopped changing and it stopped at uh, 1.010 which is kind of the uh, the lower end of a semi-sweet mead so I think that it was done so I stopped rousing it and let it settle for six days now and I don't know where I heard it or read it or I might have been I might have heard it on a podcast but someone was talking about they keep their carboys on a 2x4 and then that helps to settle out the yeast cake on one side so it's easier to get uh, more of the, the must out because that's one of the, the hardest things about when you're racking your mead from one uh, vessel to another is trying to get the maximum amount of um, mead out with the least amount of, of yeast added into it when you transfer it over. But so suppose that's supposed to help, which I think it did. You can see it kind of on one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to rack it into some smaller vessels. And one of them, this big one here, we're going to add some raspberries. And what I have is uh, a pound and nine ounces of raspberries there that uh, are from here in Vernon, BC. And what I did was I put them in the freezer um, and then now I just squished them all up so all the cells are broken. And what we're going to do is we're going to, um, for that one we're going to leave the raspberries in there for 10 days and then the other vessel is just going to be just the traditional mead and we're going to let it age out in there. So everything that I'm using today has already been sterilized so uh, let's get to it. First we will put the um, raspberries in here I guess. Hopefully this goes pretty well. If not... Okay, there we go. So now what we'll do is we'll get ready to wrap it over. Put it over there, take this off. Ooh, that smells nice. Okay, let's put this in here. Okay, there we go. Just put the end of the hose into the meat there so that it gets in less contact with the air or oxygen. So I'm 
just going to stop it there at that level, just so when the, the fruit will rise up um, and it, if it does start fermenting again, it might kind of bubble up into the, uh, the airlock. So we'll leave that one at that height. So let's see if I can just set this in there gently. And then what I, what I do want to do, what I do want to do is take another hydrometer reading and uh, see what the specific gravity is at, see if it did stay at 1.010. So let's do that before we fill the next one here. So I grab my thing. This might be a little tricky. So put that in there. Let's get the bone for that one. So I'll just put some distilled water in the airlock here up to the line. Put her on. So that one's good to go. But so let's try and get some of this here. See how messy this is gonna be. Oh, sketchy. Two hands. So yeah, it's still at 1.010. So it is where it stopped. So let's just transfer the rest of this out. probably took a little bit too much but we are going to probably rack it again we will rack it again so I'm just going to put this in the sink there. so we'll just get one more one more airlock for that one well the same actually the same airlock that came out of there but I threw it back in the sanitizer so let's Top that up. So I guess the only real thing left to do would be to uh, taste this. See how it is. Last time it was really almost like a, well, it's what they call is hot, where you could just taste the alcohol. It just tasted like really dry wine, white wine. Still kind of the same, kind of like a white wine, actually. It does taste a little different though than white wine. Hmm. I don't know how to describe that. It's like more more thicker almost like almost like a honey I guess but still like a, a, a wet wine a white a white a white wine but it's weird mm. 
tastes good though. But uh, eventually my palate will get good enough where I'll know what it's supposed to taste like. But anyways, so I guess the next step is in about 10 days, we'll uh, rack it off those raspberries. Um, but it depends on taste, I guess. But they say somewhere around 10 days, so I'll start tasting it maybe on the ninth day and see if it, it tastes enough like raspberries, I guess. See if it tastes good. Um, but that's the next step to do that. And then we might rack that one again to get it clearer. So if you like these videos, you can thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, thanks for watching.